Good morning, boys and girls. Today we are on page 57 of your student journal, on page 57. And our objective or our goal today is today I will organize, represent, and interpret data using, a, using picture graphs or t and tally graphs. So again, today we're using both types of graphs that we've learned about. Okay, and in our vocabulary, they just give us a picture of a tally graph to remind us, and they give us a picture of a picture graph to remind us. And then our steps are the same that we've been having. Okay, so I'm just gonna get started right away since we've been doing a lot of this, and I'm gonna show you my two problems. Here is my first problem. And my first problem says, use the picture graph to read data and answer the questions. So this is a picture graph because they have pictures here in the middle to represent it. So the title is Toys in the Toy Chest. And how many trains do I see? One, two, three, four. How many boats do I see? One, two. How many planes do I see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice I don't count those pictures, boys and girls, because that's not part of the graph. That's just showing you what's in the graph. Okay, so now that we have our graph made, we can answer some of our questions. So let's look at our first question. How many boats and trains, boats and trains, are in the toy chest all together? All together means to add. So how many boats were there? Let's see how many boats there were. There's two boats. And how many trains are there? Trains are four. So boats and trains all together is two boats and four trains, and when I add them, what do I get? I can add that and I get six. Okay, let's look at our next question. How many planes and trains are in the toy chest all together? And all together means to add. So how many planes are there? There are seven planes. And how many trains are there? There's four trains. Okay, so I want the boats, the planes, and the trains. I don't want the boats. So if I don't know how to add this, I could count them. So I'm going to count the trains and the planes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there were 11 boats and trains all together. Okay, boys and girls, I'm gonna do another one with you. So here is my next one, and I'm gonna read the directions. The directions say, organize and represent the data in a tally graph. Then analyze the data by answering questions about the tally graph. Okay, so this one they want a tally graph. So the title of this one is, our music class's favorite musical instruments. So our favorite musical instruments. And we have drums, guitar, or piano. So how many drums are there? Let's count. One, two, three. I only see one, two, three drums. So let's draw it. One, two, three, which is three. How many guitars are there? Let's count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten guitars. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten guitars. Okay, how many pianos are there? One, two, three, four, five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now that our graph is done, we can answer some questions. It says, how many votes did the piano and drums, so piano and drums, get all together? So piano has how many? Five, and drums has three. And all together means add them. So five plus three is eight. Okay, 
How many people voted all together? So how many people did the whole vote, vote in? Well, let's see. How many voted for drums? Three. How many voted for guitar? Ten. And how many voted for piano? Five. So that's how many people voted. So I have to add those. So I know that this one is three. That's five, five, and five. So I could try and add those. I could also count all my tally marks. I could count my pictures. So I could do different things to add those numbers if I don't know how. So I might even add all my tally marks if I'm stuck. But I know that 3 plus 10 plus 5 is 18. And again, you could have counted your tally marks if you needed to. You could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you could have counted those if you needed a way to do it. Okay, boys and girls, we are going to try some together. So I'm going to grab my green pen, and we are on page 58. So if you can turn to this page. And our directions say, use the tally graph to read data and answer the following questions. Okay. So how many tallies are here? Well, let's see. Our title was work trucks in the toy box. And we have a tow truck, fire truck, and dump truck. So how many tow trucks do I see? One, two, three, four. Okay. How many fire trucks do we see? We see a group of five plus four more because there's one, two, three, four. So what's five plus four? Nine. How many dump trucks are there? Well, I see a group of five, plus I see one, two more. So it's five plus two more is seven. Okay, now that we have our totals, boys and girls, now we are ready to answer our questions. So let's look at our questions for them. Our first question says, how many fire trucks and dump trucks are in the toy box all together. So fire trucks, how many fire trucks do we have? Nine. How many dump trucks? Seven. Okay, if you can't add nine plus seven, you could either use your fingers or you could even count the tallies if you need to add nine plus seven. Okay, so I know nine and then I can count seven more would be eight. I'm sorry, nine, and if I count seven more, I get 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I added seven more and I get 16. Okay, let's look at our next question. How many work trucks are in the toy box all together? So all the trucks. Well, we have how many? We have four tow trucks. We have nine fire trucks, plus we have seven dump trucks. So we have to add all those numbers together. Or we could add all, all of our tallies together. So we could go back and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So when I counted all my tally marks, I got 20. Okay, boys and girls, you're going to practice them on your own and have a great day. Bye-bye.